Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's Christmas time and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I got a, something at Home Goods and a couple things at Marshall's if I wanted to share with you if you're looking for some gifting ideas for your family. So there's just a couple there, so we'll do this first. I finally found a Christmas Ray Dunn mug. I love the Ray Dunn mugs, but I don't love the Ray Dunn community that they are, some people aren't so nice. But today I lucked out and was able to find one that says cup of cheer. And to be quite honest, I will just drink out of this year round. The mug I was looking for and have looked for for years is the Grinch one, but the lady, there was a woman in there before me that got like 30 of the mugs, but this is the one I was able to, to find. So I grabbed it, but like I said, it will stay out year round because coffee is a cup of cheer. I mean, let's be truthful now. Um, and yes, I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas and my Santa hat because it's just be festive, right? Okay, so I think I told you my niece and I are going to the Christmas cabin, Christmas thing. I don't know what I did with my other stuff. Oh, right, I'll find it here. And it's, I found it. Okay, so we're going to the Christmas cabin. We're going to go up around Christmas time. I'm not sure exactly when. And, fr and family's going to come to us this year. So we're going to be at a cabin. So anyway, for us to do some spa stuff. Uh, first off, I bought this foot pumice for me because that's exciting. And it was on clearance for $3. And dry feet, you know. So... Uh, soak skin in warm water to soften and then you just kind of rub the dead skin off so I grabbed one for me because I needed it that's not for Sarah although she may want it um and I can get her one so then I found foot masks and she loves these and I love these so I'll show you what they are let's take our thumbnail perfect right so this is all is bright tea tree oil and coconut oil foot treatment trio so you get three foot masks these are moisturizing now here's what i'm going to tell you if you go there to look for these which this was only four dollars and 99 cents which is a fantastic deal for three masks Do, unless you want the exfoliating the one that makes your feet peel you're going to look for moisturizing if it says like exfoliating or peeling those are the ones that which are fine but she does not she does not, oh, I got this hair. She does not want the skin peeling one and I didn't care for it either. So I got her a three pack of this one and then I, they only had one of those. So I got for me a tea tree moisture foot mask. This is from Esfolio. Oh wait, let me tell you, this is Nature's Love. And these are good until 2023. And it says, if you need to walk around up to wear big socks over the booties. I will tell you if you use these though, I put the big socks on over these to make more of the moisturizer come in contact with my skin, but that's me. And this is a five pack and it was $7.99. And I believe this is uh, Korean beauty and I'm pretty sure it's cruelty free. But this again is um, moisture foot mask, self-care moisture therapy. Yeah, I think this is, I'm trying to see if these are cruelty free, which I think they are. Um, I'd have to read a little closer. They don't have, they don't have the little bunny on them, but they're also made in Korea. So there's that. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, two moisturizing foot masks, one for one set. She can take home one for me. And then from the Dollar Tree, I got us each these Yes to Tea Tree Scalp Moisturizer Clay Masks. So we can do those if we want. I've only found one of these, so I need to be on the hunt for one more to bring so for her. And then I'm going to go find us some hand masks to do as well while we're having a pamper ourselves morning or evening and watch movies and just moisturize, right? Because that's fun. So I figure this is not really a Christmas gift for her. It's more of a let's get ourselves ready for, for holidays. But if you have somebody on your Christmas list that enjoys that, Marshall's is a great place to go buy all that kind of beauty stuff if you don't find it what you need at the Dollar Tree. And that was it. From those, I think, yeah, from those two stores. And I'm excited to use my coffee cup tomorrow. All right, Dollar Tree time. 
So I don't really have much. I've been a few times. It just hasn't been a lot to offer. But for new things, I found these gnome gift card holders. Guys, they're killing me with this gnome stuff. And I'm not sure if they slide down. I think they slide down the front. Yeah, behind his face and beard. And they hold gift cards. So these would be great for next year when they're just a dollar. Because next year they'll be a dollar twenty-five. Not that I'm rushing out and buying a bunch of stuff, but I thought these were adorable and I do give some relatives some gift cards. So I thought, why not? I am i didn't used to give these kids gift cards, but now I do. So I don't really have a stock of like gift card holders. So I thought these were cute and they'll both enjoy it. And then um, I did grab this Christmas bag, probably for next year because I'm done wrapping this year, but I love this size. And can we talk about the plaid? And Santa, he has glitter on the white parts. And then on the back, there's no glitter. But I love it, and I do enjoy this specific size because I think it's very versatile for the, for the gifts that I'm buying, for the age groups of the people that I'm gifting to. And then, holy macaroni, guys, come on. Is this not adorable? It says Merry Christmas, but look, it's Santa's clothes on the clothesline. And let's see what's on. Oh, and on the side, we have the candy cane stripe. I think these are adorable. For $1. I mean, these are great gift products. So these I won't even open this year. These are going to get packed right away into my gift wrapping totes. That typically I wait till after Christmas when everything is on sale if I'm going to stock up. But this year I decided I don't need a lot. I don't need volumes of stuff because it's just, you know, me buying for small amount of people. So I'm just going to buy the stuff I like. And that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I did get some peanut butter cookie mix. I love this for a quick Christmas trays, make Christmas cookies. I need to get some um, Hershey Kisses to make some peanut butter blossoms. But I will tell you, don't sleep on this. If you're wanting to make Christmas cookies for people, use the mixes, guys. They're so easy. All this requires is two tablespoons of vegetable oil and water. And they're good. I don't, I use these fairly regularly, especially for gingerbread cookies or if you're making with the kids and they can just scoop them and they're going to eat them. And it's so easy just to add a couple ingredients. So that's my, my Christmas thing this year. My Christmas hack, if you will. My tongue is blue because I was drinking blue crystal light because I'm trying not to drink the coffee all day. Um, I found this. I thought it was pretty fun. Um, it is technically a tablet holder, so you can you can put it this way and hold a tablet upright this way. You can put it this way, and then the tablet would lay. You could use it to hold a book or your planner. This would be great to hold a planner upright so you could see it, um, depending on the space you have on your desk. But these are pretty nice. I mean, they're not they're not going to hold something super heavy, but they will be good for a tablet or something like that. They have a little sturdier one, I think for like $3 at Ikea, but don't quote me. And if you don't have an Ikea, these are fantastic. Especially if you've got, you know, littles that watch a tablet. If you wanted to sit up more, you'd use this side and it would just sit right here or a phone. But I thought that was great for a dollar to show you. Um, if you watched my vlog, I redid one of my drawers in my kitchen. I bought some new silverware holders and I wanted a couple of these that will fit in here in this position to hold just some loose items. So I found them and I've already actually tried them out and they will fit perfectly. So there's that. Um, I grabbed, this is a good time of the year to grab these type of materials. So this is like a Pendaflex file folder with three sections and I will tell you here in a second what I use these for because I have one every year to take to my tax lady when I do my taxes I store I have a big one of these in my drawer that I use all year long and every month I put all my receipts and all my bank statements and all of that together and then at the end of the year when I collect everything together and I make a spreadsheet I take it in this and then I leave it in this um for ever like I'll write on a sharpie 2021 taxes and it just stays in here and goes into a bigger storage thing and then I will always have it and it's all together with my tax forms and all of the backup that goes with my taxes 
So if you have to do personal taxes like I do, YouTube is considered a business, so I have to do business taxes, but it's always good to keep your stuff together. So I grabbed that, but if you don't need it for large amounts of stuff, these are fantastic too. Um, it's just enough to hold, you know, one year's worth of taxes and anything you need to put in there and then just take a sharpie and write on it and put it away and it just for me these are so handy to have because when and then i keep them in a big storage box and then when if i need to reference my last year's taxes or whatever year i go into this box i know where everything is they're all in order and it just makes me feel better i picked these up for sarah and these are the gingerbread Oreos. I'm taking them to our cabin for her or whoever would like to try them. I thought those were fun. I did buy two boxes, two packs, but I sent one. Uh, my boss's son had foot surgery and I just put a little treat together and sent for him to help him feel better. And other candies I bought are Airheads. Um, this is going to be emergency candy to put in my purse because I started taking insulin for my diabetes. I'm having some difficulties right now maintaining my blood sugars, but if I ever go low, I need to keep something in my purse that I can open up and eat a little bit of. And these are, these are good until 2023 and they're prepackaged, which is what I want. I don't want something I have to, you know, grab out of the fridge all the time. I just need some quick sugar. So these will just go at one, one, like I'll open it up and take out one airhead and put it in my bag. I haven't had any issues yet and I may not ever have issues, but the responsible thing for me to do is just to keep stuff with me. Um, I grabbed another pack of these little condiment cups. These are great for charcuterie boards and that's what I'm using these for. And cause they can hold things like olives or a little bit of nuts or things that are like liquidy that might spread out or you don't want to get your cutting board all wet. These are good for stuff like that, and it's a nice portion size. So I grabbed that just for my charcuterie board. Um, I did get myself some more sugar-free peppermints because it's Christmas and I like peppermint. And I thought these are fun. And I grabbed one more meat and cheese stick. I also, <clears throat> I also like to keep these in my purse in case I'm out and about and I need a snack. This is a good snack that I can have that will not affect my blood sugar. So, and I also have some in here, but. For some reason, the Jack Lynx brand only has two carbohydrates and the other brand I think has six. I'm not sure why. But so when I saw the Jack Lynx, I just brought, bought when I actually bought two, but I ate one while I was out today. And we just have a couple more things. This is gonna be a quick and easy. Um, I picked up some daily oatmeal moisturizer. I'm hoping this is equivalent to Aveeno. Um, I'm just dry and in the winter time I like to put this on my legs and stuff before I get in bed and I love the Aveeno but it is very pricey and so I'm hoping this is an equivalent to that. I can already tell you it isn't because there's fragrance in here. Um, so there's that but rubbing it on doesn't feel greasy or anything it absorbed pretty well so we'll try it um you know i prefer i don't know why they would put fragrances in um something that's supposed to be for dry skin because fragrances can dry your skin out yep they put fragrance in it hmm all right well it's fine i mean i'm not putting it on my face so that's the thing if i put it on my face it will burn so I'll put it on my body and it's fine. Um, I also got another one of these for some type of storage. Um, it's that time of year where I start thinking I need to storage, I need to like clean and purge everything, but it'll also work out for our coffee bar at Christmas time. And I, cause I had wanted black and this will like hold a lot more snacks than the other one I got. So I can put all different snacks here next to the coffee bar and that will make my people happy and then the last thing i found my store fi finally got these out these are just little gift tag ornaments but they would also go great in a tiered tray. um i don't i'm not gonna put them out this year because I, i'm done decorating but 
They would also look cute on a mantle or just hanging. Like if you have a high shelf, that almost would look cute. Hanging off the front of the shelf. Put it on a decorated, like if you put a present out, like a pretend present under your tree, you could use that as a gift tag. Why not? All right, oh, wait, one more thing. I got these. These are magnetic, I believe. Dry erase magnetic clips. I think this is fantastic because you can write on here and then hang whatever you want from the clip. I know, right? And it'll stick to your fridge. You know, if you have to remember something, like read, look, give yourself notes or to do, done, whatever. And it comes with a little dry erase marker, but I liked this idea uh, for sure. Grocery list or what or what not. All right, guys, that's everything I was able to find at the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping my stores get a little more stocked this week so I can do a second haul. Um, but I have everything out and showed to you that I have purchased so far. Don't have any back stock. I know, right? But I hope you enjoy. I'm looking around to see. No, I sure don't. Well, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic week. And I will talk with you later. Bye. Oops. Oops, this is Future Lori breaking in. I had another bag to show you, and I didn't want the day to go by without sharing it. It's really quick. I just got some mayonnaise, some real craft mayo. All I ever see in my store is Miracle Whip, so I was glad to see mayo. Um, my store finally put out these wood cutouts, the Believe. I finally found it. I am obsessed with Believe. And then they had Let It Snow in these little ones. And these Merry Christmas signs. My store, literally one store put these out like today. So I'm excited to have them. I grabbed two of the Believe. You only get three of these. Now I also have a machine that I think I have the power to make these, but I need to figure it out. So I got some of that. And then the last thing I got are these Crock-Pot Crock -Pot brand liners. And these are for a three to seven quart slow cooker. So I'm pretty sure they'll fit my seven, six quart, I think. It's a six quart. I don't know. But you get six liners each. And it is crock pot brand. And so I grabbed two. I use my crock pot fairly regularly. But for the Christmas cabin, we're going to be making some dip, which is messy. So this will be perfect. Okay. That is everything.